hello guys you're welcome to my youtube channel this is synthetic goddess on this channel i share strategies on how to become a profitable trader even if you are a beginner and i simplify those strategies so that you can use in your day-to-day -day activities while trading if you're new to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and if you are an existing viewers i really welcome you back i appreciate you for watching this video again it means a whole lot to me all right in this video i want to share with you a very very important strategy that you would never want to miss out in 2023 you will never want to miss out this strategy in 2023 because once you have this strategy to your trading life it's going to change everything about your trading life i explained i explained inducements in one of my videos so if you are yet to check it out just go to my channel check my videos and then look out for the inducements video and then see what i explained there it's going to give you a very wide it's going to give you a very wide knowledge about what i am about to explain right now i mean you don't really want to miss out this particular strategy you need to add it to your trading life in 2023 so that you can change your trading life forever so i'm going to be giving a detailed explanation about one of it and then probably in uh, my next next videos i'm going to give a detailed explanation about the second one so we have two categories of inducements which the first one is the primary inducement the second one is the secondary inducement i'll repeat that again the first one is the primary inducement the second one is the secondary inducement i saw the secondary inducement on volatility 25 index five minutes time frame and then i i had to just make this video so that you guys can see what i am also saying and then you won't just be stopped out of the market and the market starts moving in your direction so i'm going to be giving a detailed explanation about what happened on volatility 25 index five minutes time frame i'm going to be giving explanation about it in this video all right so it is secondary inducement i actually saw secondary inducement on this instrument i saw secondary inducement on this instrument now if you if you want to trade with my broker that we allow you to trade for 24 hours seven days just check the description box and then just click on the link to sign up with my broker which is deriv and to be able to trade all these instruments and by january a telegram group will be opened for trading of synthetics majorly so you don't want to miss that out also you um i'm going to drop the link by january so you guys should anticipate for that also so i'm going to be sharing the secondary inducement now and i'm going to be giving a detailed explanation about the secondary inducement right in this video so stay tuned till the end so that you can see what i am talking about when we talk about inducement as i always told you the structure is the king of the market you need to know the structure of the market you need to know the structure of the market know the last break of structure and be able to identify all the structure the swing points be able to identify all of them so here on five minutes time frame basically if you check the four hours time frame we've actually been in a downtrend but i am uh using this five minutes time frame basically because i used the intraday setup i am using the intraday setup and i enter my uh trade on the five minutes time frame five minutes time frame is my execution time frame so that is why i'm going to be explaining to you with five minutes time frame and then i'm going to be using the five minutes time frame structure so this is my last break of structure which is to the upside this is actually a counter trade this is a counter trade but it is worth taking because you can see the movement the impulsive movement to the upside we had distance and momentum right away from uh, our last break of structure there was distance and momentum to the upside if you check the 15 minutes time frame also it really showed that we've been in an uptrend we've actually been in an uptrend so i'm going to be using that five minutes time frame to give an explanation on what i saw and what you really need to also see 
when you enter the market so we hatch the last brick of structure to the upside this is the last brick of structure to the upside now you are marking out your secondary inducement and in the, in one of my videos i explained about market structure and i explained range structure to you now after we had a break of this eye after we had the break of this structure we had a range structure start now that is where we are going to be marking out our inducement that is where we are going to be marking out our inducement after a proper structure range break the next low the next low that is formed after the break of structure is our secondary inducement when market is coming back we are expecting when, when we have distance and momentum to the upside we are expecting the market to take the first the first low formed after break of structure and after this break of structure where was the first low formed this was the first low this was the first low formed which we can also count as our range structure and remember in the poi poi videos that i have already made in the poi videos i already made i told you about secondary poi i told you about primary poi now if you want to mark out your secondary poi this is how you're going to be marking it out you need to know your inducement leg now this is the inducement leg this is the inducement leg for the secondary poi we're marking this as inducement leg for secondary poi now we are going to be marking this out this is it and as i explained in my poi video we have the breaker here uh we had our breaker here yes and then we had our reclaim block so i'm going to just be marking this out as the base of breaker i'm going to be marking this out as the base of breaker i mean um it is it is the base okay this is the base this is this is the other block yes this is the other block formed around the breaker area so i'm going to be marking this out or i just mark out my breaker as a whole and then i'm going to mark it with the base also i'm just going to be marking it out and then when the market is coming i am expecting the market to first take the secondary inducements now after we've broken away the secondary inducements then that is where we are going to be expecting the primary inducement i'm going to be explaining the primary inducement in some of my videos in um, probably in the next video or 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 um some videos anyway i'm going to be making it in some videos i just want you to get this secondary inducement i would want you to get the secondary inducement before moving into the primary inducement just grab this secondary inducement very very well it's going to really really help you so we are marking out this area and then we are expecting the markets to take this low as our inducement after taking this low as our inducement we are not expecting it to take this low if it takes this low it simply means we are going to our primary inducement we are going to our primary inducement so this is the low we are expecting the market to take and basically see what the market did i'm going to be marking it out right now i'm going to be marking it out for you to see how the market reacted in this area so this is our inducement the market took out the inducement plainly we took out the inducement plainly and the market started moving to the upside the market started moving to the upside basically you should be following structure you should be following structure markets can decide to change at any time so you should follow the structure don't just believe that you can be reckless because you've gotten a very valid area to enter the market no the market can change at any time the market can get to a particular area and then decide to start moving to the downside it doesn't matter so but here we've already confirmed that this are secondary inducement once the market takes it out once the market takes out our secondary inducement we should be having a good buy around this area so and the market took out the secondary inducement plainly i mean it took it out plainly it gave us a confirmation entry
we had a very valid tech uh, we had a very very valid take of the inducement after taking out the inducement though for our secondary po high the market started moving to the upside it started moving to the upside after taking the inducement and if you did not catch the first move if you did not catch the first move definitely you are going to catch the second move you should just be following structure uh for instance we had this um break of structure we had this um minor break of structure we had this minor break of structure to the upside we had this minor break of structure to the upside and then we are looking out for a zone where we can use to continue the movement to the buy area we are looking out for an area to continue the movement to for us to buy now we had a break of this external liquidity we have the break of this external liquidity here for this particular structure here is our external liquidity for this particular structure here is our external liquidity we had the, the external liquidity to the upside and basically the market used the secondary po high to continue we are reacting to the secondary po high right now to continue to the upside the market is about to continue to the upside and we are targeting this eye we are targeting this eye so that is how you just trade your secondary inducement when you want to pick out your secondary po high ensure that you are picking out your secondary inducement the low you are expecting the market to take before getting to your normal po high guys you really need to learn this you really need to know much about inducement you don't just want to be entering the market and getting out of the market anytime you don't want to be entering the market without confluence you don't want to be entering the market without confirmation so here is why we are talking about the secondary inducement i hope you like this video give this video a like and then give me a comment if you really enjoyed this video i'm going to be seeing you in the next video guys have a lovely trading day bye